again, let me preface it by saying when I'm announcing, I do not bet fights. I'm an equal opportunity announcer. I will not do that. It's uh, it's a moral issue with me. Um, am I allowed to? Sure, I can do what I want, but I don't. But this case, I made these bets a while ago. The bet started at 20 to I Actually, it started way higher, but I remember it came in at like 20 to 1. Right. Then it went down to like 11. I got Conor McGregor at 7.5 to 1, which is now 4.5 to 1. Right. So that means money's it, it has nothing to do with he's going to beat Mayweather. The, the odds are made by the odds makers, whether it's football or boxing or right. whatever. And the reason they change from that point forward is about where the money is going. So the reason the odds have gone down, it went down a little bit when the fight was announced, but at that point, it's all about where the money's going. So now there's all, money is going on Conor McGregor. So I bet Conor McGregor would win at 7.5 to 1. I made a bet that he would knock Mayweather down at some point in the fight when he hits one knee. That's 5 to 1, which is right. now 3.5 to 1. Yeah. I bet that he would knock McGre- uh, Mayweather out in the third, fourth, or fifth round, uh, which is 2,200 to one, I got. That's a lot. That, that I mean, that's, that's an If he's gonna bet. knock him out, I think it'll happen in the first six rounds. I so, think you're right. Yeah. I think you're right. So, and I bet a fight that is not a favorite bet, but I think it's a good bet, that the fight will not go past nine and a half rounds, which is now eight and a half rounds. It's gone down. And what was the other? Um, oh, there were other funny bets too. Like, will he do? I didn't bet these, but those those are my main things. Uh, it, there's other ones about will he do the billionaire strut on the way to the ring? Of course, he of course will. he will. Well, that's like three hundred to one or three to three hundred to one a favored bet. Will he mention Mayweather's domestic abuse situation over one and a half times up to the fight? That's a bet that can be made. Will he be DQ'd? You know, throwing a kick or losing or going into MMA in the middle of the fight? That's a bet to be made. Um, they, they got some other crazy ones, but those are the bets I made. And you might say, okay, well, Bruce, why are you making those bets? Is it because you truly believe that Conor McGregor is going to beat one of the greatest oh, monsters of Bet- our time? Ha- betting is half entertainment, half money. Making. I watch football game. I got to have a little action right. on it to make it fun. I'll put, you know how I am. I'll put thousands down on a blackjack or a poker bet. Why can't I put a little money down on, on Conor McGregor? Right. And if I win, Hey, it's a windfall. It's going to come in right now. The reality of the situation is... By the way, what you bet, too, it doesn't take much to win a ton. You know what I mean? No, not with odds like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not with odds like that. And so, and the other thing is, I don't like bets to bet $1,000 to win 150 if you bet on Mayweather to win. Because, as you and I both seen, in MMA and in boxing, case in point, 42 to 1, Buster Douglas, Mark Tyson. Okay? 42 to 1 was the bet that night. You would have won 4200 to your $100 bet that That's night. That's insane. Insane. What happened? Buster Douglas won. I can name a bunch. I've seen it happen so many times. In this case, we are dealing with a 41-year-old great boxer. And at that age, MMA or boxing, you can have that night where you get old that night. Of course. Any night can happen. I mean, he's it's a, it's a, it's a 41-year-old man. Fighting a 29-year-old monster. Right. Yeah. I mean, I'm sorry. You can't say 100% that Floyd wins every time. You can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. And is it likely? Absolutely. On paper, it's all Floyd Mayweather, and it's not. Again, I'm just going to enjoy the fight. Here's my main thing. Okay, money aside, bets aside, whatever. Right. I would really enjoy being there that night in some capacity. I'm looking forward to a, a fun night of entertainment. I'm looking forward to hopefully an extremely entertaining fight for everybody that bought the pay-per-view, not another debacle like the Mayweather-Pacquiao fight, with all respect to both fighters. I'm looking for an exciting fight for Connor to come out. I could see Connor dirty boxing. Mm-hmm. I, I just see it. Sure, he's got. I don't know. I, I don't see how he's going to win. I just hope he's allowed to. Well, he grabbed the back of the neck, uppercut until he's told not to. He can put his body into him. You know, move his legs in there, whatever it takes. Um, and it, you know that he has a lot more energy in the clinch over twelve rounds than Mayweather will have because that's what he's used to doing. Right. That's it. That's the fight world he comes from. Yep. So he's going to go in. And Malinaji, in his comments, did say. That Connor is one tough individual. He's definitively a fighter who is coming to fight. We will just see how it happens that night. I hope we all have a great time, whether we're sitting with family and friends or in a sports bar somewhere. Everybody's going to be watching it. And I got to tell you, I was at, uh, I've been in many different areas from a poker tournament I played this week. I was out on a date last week at a, at a really fine restaurant, um, you know, where everybody's like, you know, you don't even think they're going to watch the fight. Right. I'm standing waiting for my car, and all I'm doing is being asked questions by everybody about the fight. Right. Everybody's talking about it. Yeah. Every demographic I come up against is talking about the fight. That's why it's going to be 5 million-plus pay-per-views. 
possibly breaking six. So best of both, make your money. I don't begrudge them the money, but if Connor wins, every single boxer of note, be it a Triple G, be it a Andre Ward, whatever the case, be it be Canelo, they're all going to be looking for the five, uh, excuse me, the eight and, and nine, uh, how do I say this? Numbered payday. You know? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, and I, I think Dana, I think Dana, from what he said, has kind of like had it with this MMA versus boxing thing. I think this is, he hopes it ends like this. We get back on the right track again. Sure. You know, but Connor's going to have a lot of offers if he wins a lot of offers. Uh, you know, I still say it. If he beats Floyd Mayweather, he should never, ever step into the octagon or cage or ring or Yama pit or whatever. To fight again because it'll be the greatest of all time. He, I won't mention names. Somebody extremely close to this man has told me that Conor McGregor has a dream of being a billionaire. He wants to literally be back in the octagon in three months if it has. But the question is, how much money he's going to ask for as a guarantee to walk back in that octagon? And will he get it? You know? um, if he If he beats Floyd Mayweather... Just write the man a blank check. Yeah. Honestly. I think if I, he loses to Floyd Mayweather but puts up a solid effort still, I don't know. I mean, I think he could command $30 million. What are you going to do? Yeah, I was going to say 25 to 30 guarantee. What are you going to do? You know, what? yeah, you either do it or you don't. But that's up to the powers that be at the UFC, of course. We're just conjecturing. But the type of man he is, everything that we've just spent 10 or 15 minutes talking about dictates the fact that $100, 200000000 in the bank and again, his sponsorship money is probably close to making him as much as he's making on the fight from this, the sponsorship money he's receiving. Yeah. So it's more money than we're even thinking about. Right. Uh, if he's the type of man that I think he is mentally, yes, I believe he will fight again because he's that type of warrior. All right, so let's get on some collectible talk because we're going to get close to the end of the show here. Uh, I got, a, I got a, a letter, got an email uh, from a fan. Congrats. It says... Uh, Hey, Mr. Buffer, I have a question about a Conor McGregor card I have. It's a 2013 UFC Bloodlines Conor McGregor first autograph card. I've seen it on eBay valued at $1,500 to $5,499. Uh, I believe it's in mid condition since I've only touched it like three or four times. So my question is, how do I know how much it's worth? Can I get it graded online? Since I live in Sweden, one of our international listeners, thank you for listening, I really don't want to send it to the USA to get it valued, which would be done through PSA. Do you think it will go up in value after the Mayweather fight, even if he loses? I always listen to your podcast and like it a lot. I hope you can help me with this. I yes, wrote, yes, yes. Yeah, the answer is yes. But I did, when I wrote back, uh, I did say as far as value, the card is only worth as much potentially as the last person paid for it, which is true. Right. So you can put any value on a card. If you see these sold for 1500 to $5,499, $99, check and see if they sold. Right. They, there's a lot of stuff sitting on eBay that has not sold. Right. Okay. My UFC 214 cards are on eBay right now, and the auction ends on Saturday or Sunday, um, which I started the minimum bidding at at $1,250. Uh -huh. you, you know how much the cards have gone for. Oh, yeah. That was a great show. Those cards sure. just sell for a decent amount. But getting back to Hans's email, um, I told him to keep track of the eBay listing, see if it sells. Also, you can do, folks, when you have questions about this, do a Google search, and you can come up and see what these cards sold for in the past. I would say at these values that I'm looking at, a fifteen hundred to five thousand four hundred ninety nine, the fifteen hundred is potentially true. I think the fifty five hundred dollar figure might be a little high, but if Conor McGregor wins the Mayweather fight, it could become very realistic. Then you got to ask yourself, how long would that hold its value for? Sell it while it's hot. Right. I I got to believe too that if you're looking online, say like eBay, you can see what those auctions have sold for recently. You're not just stuck seeing what they're asking for. And, and like you said, Bruce, that's the key to the mystery here. That's the key. What have they been selling what for? What did they sell? It's like a piece of real estate. The only right. reason your house goes up is because comps are made. What comps are right. are the homes that sold in your area recently, which set the price for your house. Now, I talked about two years ago, mm -hmm. I bought a 1961-62 Fleer basketball. Uh, basketball. Basketball. You waskily wab it. Wax on, wax off. I bought a 1961-62 Fleer basketball wax pack uh -huh. for $1,100. Okay. Two years ago. 1100 A box uh -huh. of 6162 Fleer wax packs, of which there's 36 packs in the box, uh -huh. just sold for 149000 
Wait, what? Yes, 149000 How many packs are in a box? 36 packs. I paid 1100 Now that pack, by this standard, is now worth $4,138. Sell. Sell. No. Sell. That pack will keep going up. Sell. Why? Why will that pack keep going up? Because it's supply and demand. It's limited. There's no right. more. There's Especially no more. if it's unopened, right? It's unopened, and it's right. graded. My wax packs are graded What's by PSA. What's you think? Pardon me? Like, what could be inside of it? A Will Chamberlain rookie card. Oh, my God. In great condition. It could go for $10,000.